a game like this, you might expect to pay $5,000, $6,000, even $80,000. But if you purchase now, you'll get it for much lower than that. But that's not all. <laughs> I don't know the actual price. I can only assume it's less than $80,000. Oh, <laughs> but that's not all. Order now and we'll also throw in characters like Hikari the Warrior, Agnia the Dancer, Hastie the Apothecary, Artitio the oh. Merchant, Oswald the Scholar, Charnay the Thief, Temenos the Cleric, and everyone's favorite, oh shit. Oh shit. The Hunter. I'll reach out, who should I call? Um, Who's really good at talking right now? Imogen? Well, I would reach out to Imogen, or I would reach out to Laudna, or... Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll do someone that we haven't heard from in Don't a while. Don't cut me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean... <laughs> I don't want to... <laughs> I don't want to save your voice for when you actually when might you need might it need later. It. <laughs> like a cold metallic sensation to it. It's flavorless. Um, it kind of like... Almost makes your hair stand up just a little bit from just the immediate cold sensation, mm. um, and then becomes this kind of weird buzzing in the inside of your stomach. How will you get Xandas off the, the vessel? Do you well. have something? You said you have. Some, well, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> what, what, what am I hearing? I'm only you, catching a few got, words. You got us. Okay. Okay. Um, 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 um. Where's the, the sharpies? <laughs> And Where's my four? With Ronan at home all the time. <laughs> and he's got like his own method he's for rolling. He's built a technique dice. for dice yeah. rolling? Oh, he oh, he oh, was from 20 to 6 yesterday against he me. He beat Travis's ass in rolling. 17. 17 and 14. 14. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'll take him to Vegas. Um, disadvantage because of the dust storm, they? actually. Oh, that's going to say 20. Not bad. Uh, 14. 14. Uh, yes, there was what looked to be a, a large rifle-like device that was. FCG. <laughs> <laughs> Is that you? Huck. Over here. Fern. What? I'm hearing things. Oh, come I'm on. No, it's it's a voice I don't recognize. <laughs> it's, um, it sounds evil, malevolent of some oh, sort. No, someone's already trying to break in. Something uh, tired, worn, withered. Say, get from out of here! I don't want it. And, get out of my head. Get out of my head. Get out of my head. Go you, back to your you fucking shit. Devil, devil woman. <laughs> what are you so, doing here? You uh, told me to come. I, didn't, I I said I asked you for advice on that thing. Huh? Oh, this is yeah, the thing. Yeah, that's why we came. You said you needed a you, you needed a robot. What's going on with Xandis? Xandis and Ira are taking they're, care of it. They're actually getting along great. Ira's a fae sociopath. Well, now well, let's not judge, well, lest ye be judged. Judge, I will lest judge. Ye be it's judged. a certain. Hey, he said watch that who he... you're calling a face sociopath in front of. You know, she's <laughs> our <laughs> face sociopath. That's true. I belong to you all. There is a uh, a doorway type front to the compartment that is its central torso. It looks like it's essentially a central cargo space in the middle of this automaton. The interior, you can see the the the, the power core. This is completely fried. If I were going to sort of tether myself to it somehow, is there any plug, socket? Make an uh, arcana check. Not great. Seven. You don't see oh, anything. Wait, 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 wait. It says oh, there's a little A next to my arcana. So okay. go ahead and roll again. Come on. And and guys, a natural 20. <laughs> you suddenly sense, like, you have control of your body, but you now sense arms and legs beyond oh your God. physical self. Get away from her, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had legs before. This thing has legs, has right? Legs. Oh, like Bambi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try. That story is Ariel. real good. Can I do the robot? Make a dexterity check. <laughs> I natural twenty. No, it's a four. <laughs> We just met two people that are down in there now who are working with Rin. Yeah, one was named like Doe, yes. and the other one was Ray, and then me. The three of them. Doe, Ray, and me? <laughs> yeah. There's such a musicality to them. I don't know why the acapella groups get so radical out of these know. parts, but. They just have to have puns. But they seem to know a lot about the Cerberus <laughs> assembly. One of them looked like uh, she could handle herself in a fight. And then some, and the other one looked like some sort of like a, a daddy. 
like you know, a like a magic zaddy or something. Oh, he was a zaddy. Either way, they were both zaddies. Let's be honest. <laughs> Matthew. Yes. How do I see? You take the glasses off. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I can be out there. I can be looking for those glyphs on the ground the whole time. And then if things go wrong for you. I can just barong. Barong. Well, then it can be everybody barong. but the two, but the two of you, because there's no point hiding you. For Structured bridges and long wooden walkways that cross the kind of outside edges from place to place down the interior. While the dust storm blows overhead, and there is some level of how did that feel? Did you like black out for a second? Did you go away, or was it just a little woozy? No, it's more of a little woozy. It's just sort of like I just um someone kicked me in the nuts for a second and kind of get a little fuzzy, hey. and I was good to go. Right. That's weird to say that. I didn't even have nuts. What's it like having nuts? You don't know. You don't have nuts. I don't know. <gasps> we should add chutney. What's that? What's it like having nuts? How big are yours? Kind of like <laughs> curls up and ah. <laughs> There, I mean, you tell me, you constructed him. Mm -hmm. D did you build him with nuts? Nuts have really big nuts. What? <laughs> <laughs> they do. Rats? How do you know this? Because I, I used to have hamsters. Hamsters, if you. If hamsters they are had, giant fucking rats. They have big nuts, and I think rats are the same way. I mean, he just it was a dead rat body, so I imagine they'd be shriveled and a little decayed, but I wouldn't have taken them off. That would have been cruel. May not be the proudest of raisins, but they're my raisins. I have no nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Cloak scarves, um, but they all look to be just like travelers' garments. Nothing that signifies vanguard. Nothing that signifies call. Unlucky fuckers. Okay. How, how long dead are they? Like weeks. Uh, you're. It's hard to tell from the distance. You have to get close and inspect. No. Okay. You continue to. What's your business? Delivery for General Timult. I don't think I've connected with your man before. What's your name? That's none of your business. Make an intimidation check. Come on. Come on. Come on, Will okay. Arnett. Okay. <laughs> Natural 20. Oh! oh yes. Yes. You're walking into the entrance? Change. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. You also <laughs> just fully get like off get some stuff too. Huh? Get Undead some owl stuff or? Too. Yeah. This figure's wearing Vanguard uh, vestments. Casual and appearance. It makes a loud screeching sound, and the figure who's posted there kind of like turns and looks inside, and looks a bit curious about what you're doing. I just turn and kick the warder. This fucking piece of shit. What, what are you doing? That's none of your business, son. <laughs> She's son. I'm 52 years old. <laughs> <laughs> I say that in his head. Okay. Oh, yeah. Take like advantage ever. on the intimidation yeah. check. 24, no, 22, I'm sorry. There's a look of like recognition for a second. And goes, uh, puts his head back up and then kind of just begins to mingle with the rest of the working crew and vanishes oh, out of sight. Oh. It's a company. It makes things. Take, take the glasses off. You were very good in the Hunger Games, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have Liam and Marisha go ahead and roll d20s for me? Oh no. Oh no. What's that mean? What's Probably that for Bowen and Caleb. Seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Right as Odahan turns the corner into this cavern. <laughs> As light flashes and consumes the space behind you, you kind of look backward, and the two machines that were emitting that dispel wave have both nice. detonated. Nice. One second after the next, Odahan like looks around angrily and begins to run back out of the cavern in the direction towards the rest of the chaos. As I, as she's coming, you know, I'm moving a rock, and I'm just gonna look like a fucking dumb robot. And as soon as she gets within range, I'm gonna just chuck it straight at her. <laughs> There's stones and, and pieces of rock, and there's the curved tower that runs right behind that's pointing towards the central key. I'll just grab a piece of that ruined wall and, and sort of just, again, move move it aside, like I'm trying to clear, clear it off or something. Mm -hmm. And then 
with my other hand, I'll just kind of reach down and grab her, so so it all sort of looks fluid. This, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I, I'm, a, I'm a dumb robot just grabbing rocks. Yeah, she yeah, seems yeah, like yeah, a yeah. rock to me. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and make a sleight of hand check. Oh oh What's in the rocks? Okay, that's a five. Oh! <laughs> oh, my heart. You hit one of the load-bearing sections of the ruin as it now <coughs> falls. Onto it? No. No. What? No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <coughs> On to Rin. Oh, oh, Rin. I killed Rin. Oh, it's okay. Oh, it's okay. No. She's an the, NPC. The, <laughs> oh, and you just see, like, like where Rin was, it's now just kind of stone and rubble. Oh, you don't see Rin at the moment. Because she's um, also stone and rubble. But now, <laughs> the room, like, all the heads go heads and shift right over to where you are. Another wall collapsed, and you're standing in the middle of it, clutching a piece of stone. I will. With my body language, because I can't communicate like this, I'll hold up the rocks and go. <laughs> <laughs> As if to say, oops, <laughs> sorry. Make an exception check. Here's the meme. I guess I'll die. <laughs> if I could have both of you roll d20s for me. Come on. Five. Oh, God. Oh, Come on, fuck. Come on, Bob. Oh, my God. No. Six. The first thing you see is a figure kind of like, kind of begin to fall rapidly and then stop as the form of Caleb Widugasp stands with the mage hunter golem clasped around the back of his neck in the middle of the city. This is an interesting position to be in. People. No sign of Bo? Not at the moment. Oh, no regard. To the battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the battery. oh, it's been a while. Happy anniversary. <laughs> but you do see another figure begin to descend the stairs. And this is a familiar woman with long blue robes, uh, sleeveless, dark skin with the hair up that you had met, the Beauregard figure, who is just walking as the, the Thank you all for joining us. It seems we've had expected guests. Caleb, Beauregard, you have been thorns in all of our sides for quite some time. I think it's only fitting that we give you front row seats to what you've worked so hard to fail to do. At which point Beauregard now begins to walk through the crowd, and as they gather, they just begin to shackle and chain, gag, and set her there. Someone, please free our ornament. And people start shifting the stone out of the way oh, no. and pull up the slightly, <laughs> slightly damaged statue of Rin, uh, the right arm broken off. Oh, oh no. God, I broke Rin. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's, that's okay. a lot better than where I yeah, thought, I thought she, she was. Yeah, I thought she was shattered. Hmm. She can regrow an arm. And there you see kind of held in place this small 12-sided device, this kind of oh, dodecahedron about this beacon. big, <laughs> rimmed in gold shit. as the energy is flowing through it. Ludinus calls out, well, I guess it's time we brought it to us. The energy charges up into it. You watch as this device begins to glow, and everyone around you in the chamber seems to freeze in place, and the stars above pass by. Hours go by in seconds before the red moon is held aloft. What? It's shifted time. You all hear the sound of something heavy as the silver sun comes descending at intense speed straight down into the tunnel. He watches Ludinus goes, and right as it is coming down on top, Whoa! a force field appears right on top. It impacts and shatters, scattering outward and just killing dozens and dozens of the surrounding watchers and workers here of the Paragon's Call. No damage to the central spire, but in this space around, rubble 
and wreckage. Oh God. Destroyed bits. Oh God. I'm gonna say in her head, Mama. You, you notice, right, as she's floating there, she looks down and she begins to lift her hand in the direction of you, Orem, and then as you say Mama, she's kind of like, Imogen? Mama, it doesn't have to be like this. Mama, I love you. The better halves make a better home. Please remember. Make a persuasion check with advantage. <laughs> Come on, luck at you. 19. I told you to run. I've been telling you to run. Why did you come here? I want to help you get free. It doesn't have to be like this. It's the only way we can be free. You see Ira begin to shift rapidly through the ruin. Liala turns and puts a hand oh, out. No. Ooh, does he have advantage? Okay. Yes, magic resistance. He has advantage on. And she banishes him. <gasps> <gasps> that sucks. He's fine. He's fine. He's, fine. Wow. He's just gone for a minute. Wow. No, he's from another no. realm. Yeah, so he's, he's gone. 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 As long as he's she maintains back concentration. Back to the Fey realm. All right. Born in you, chosen Rude is born. Seeds of Pregathos's power. You have all gathered here for your true purpose. You see a lot of the surviving members of the vanguard around, and you can see this kind of dull red glow beginning to emanate what? from their skin. From Liana, you can see around her body and through the coat from the inside, like red energy beginning to <gasps> drift up underneath. What's it? Oh, we can't In see the invisible, invisible space where Imogen is standing, her outline begins to appear as red mist like no! energy begins to drift off of her oh, no. body. Oh, no. Fern. A faint bit of red oh. mist oh, begins to emanate from you. The and fighting. also me? <laughs> <laughs> nah. oh, I'm not alive! <laughs> Boom, dust <clears throat> kicked up in the air as you see what looks like a large boulder has slammed from above as the boulder slowly <laughs> <laughs> begins to unravel itself in the center oh, of the ground. Oh, look at the other! Yeah. Double Marisha. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, triple, triple Marisha. Triple Marisha. <laughs> I should land. Triple goes. turned. I just hope she doesn't get fucked up. And then I, don't I don't know if we're there yet. My characters tonight. What if they all die? What if they all die? Including the new one. I know. <laughs> Ludinus kind of looks down and smiles. Right on time. Oh no. No. And he just says, You guys. No. Oh. Casts power word stun on her. She immediately <laughs> freezes up, turns over, and you watch as Odahan darts out of the shadow. All three of her echoes that she creates from the back surround Keyleth, who is unable to move due to power word stun. Top of the round, the 21. There I go. Is Odahan. Oh, Mother. Fucker. Fucker. Uh, Two 18s. Okay. Um, that would be a lot. So that's going to go ahead and be 1d8. She got a lot of hit points, wasn't Earth Ellie? It's going to go ahead and. Then once and Earth Ellie is done, she's, she's she's going to use a side dice to do Sonic Strike, which does an additional 14 points of damage on that one. And uh, they have to make a strength oh, save to be knocked prone. She's stunned, okay. so she can't make it. She gets knocked prone. So now she has advantage on the strikes again, but she does additional damage to things that are not prone. 20 damage on the second strike. Third attack. That's a crit. 28 points of damage. And then she's going to offhand strike with Scream Needle. She used Unleash yes. Incarnation to get that fourth strike on that. That is going to be with advantage. Another crit. Wow. What? This is still she's the still same going? round of attacks? Yes. yes. yes, yes. And then it's going to go ahead and action surge. Yep. There you go. That hits for one point of damage. Where the earth elemental form falls. Fuck. Oh. And they're on the ground. Yo, what's up? What's up, Bay? Oh, shit. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> look at her mini, is so pretty. Two more strikes. Two more. Jesus Christ. Can we end this game? 
I was just standing there watching Keyleth die, <sighs> being she watched can't do by literally anything Pate it. being watched by Magna. damage, and it's going to go ahead and because <laughs> you can do it with action, it's going to do another <laughs> unleash incarnation for this another attack. Ladies being killed out there. She's still going. She's still going. Uh, that is going to bring us to Jesus H. She's not looking great. One round, man. As Odahan goes and strikes all the incarnations just into this frenzy, the earth elemental form cracks, and then what was once shale and pebble becomes red blood scattering on the ground. As Keyleth flies, kind of frozen, eyes wide, Odahan goes for like a, a heart strike, and there is a dark flash in the air. And you see where Odahan's blade was. Instead, you see a cloak of feathers. Oh, oh, what? Fuck, what the hell? Black raven feathers. Wait, put oh. it on the bingo. Put it on the bingo. Is Bags on there? You see a masked figure with long Shut the oh. fuck up, man! Oh. Shut oh. up! What no fucking what way! <laughs> you cannot oh, be serious! Where is it? I don't know where it is. now standing over and protecting oh. her body. Oh. Oh. Daggers oh in each God. hand. Don't you even dare. Oh, oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. FCG, your turn. Oh, what are you talking dying. about? What are you talking about? Oh, my God. What is He's happening? He's dead. He's already He's dead. He's unhinged. You can't do this. Oh, my God. Oh my He's going to start Champion. bringing in. He's going to bring in characters from campaigns we don't even know about. <laughs> Who's that? Is there going to be any other characters besides Marisha and Liam? It's Liam and Marisha. <laughs> oh, Another what? sky ship comes, and it's 40 jesters. <laughs> I thought you said 40 jesters. And by level 20, that might be possible. Oh, technically. OK, so I land by, and I pass by a feathered angel on the way by. Yep. Land behind He's Odahan. So attractive. I'm busy. I'm busy. I'm right behind Odahan. Mm -hmm. I want to slash the fuck away at the contraption on her back and break it to shit. Hits 18 plus nine. Okay, 18 plus nine. Yes, that does hit. And I'm just. I'm not even trying to hurt her. Yeah, just. I'm just, just the trying difference. to wreck that thing. That is 12 points. Next one also hits 16 plus nine. That hits as well. Yeah. Like l literally. <laughs> You, you have to have a, a 25 to hit this. So. Okay, that's 10 points of damage. Action surge. Okay. Uh, that is a 22 to hit. 22 does not hit, unfortunately. <sighs> Misses. Shit. Just so you know, it's got three hit points, so. Mm. Is so it too late to make the, three hit? can I make the, the final one a goading attack? Going. Two things have to happen if you allow that. Okay. She has to make a wisdom saving throw to see if the uh -huh. goading attack uh, succeeds yeah. and it's eight more damage. Or it's a roll. Okay, go ahead and roll. If it's three or higher, right. you destroy the device. It's one. Oh! 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 I'm going to hybrid transformation turn into a werewolf, and I'm gonna try and backpack onto the back of lewdness. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> the gods do not deserve it. Oh, fuck! I know, right? <laughs> this yeah. is gonna be athletics check versus his AC. It's a 19. 19 is his AC. Shield. Like, he's just kind of looking out this way, and he goes, <laughs> and you just watch as this field, you skid across the top and like slide oh, no. over, and as you go over the top, you get one upside down glance of lewdness just scowling at you. As you begin to fall oh. down. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I, I will say. On the yeah. <laughs> well, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Natural one. Oh, oh no. He's going to get harpooned. <laughs> <laughs> and now, the final piece the sliver of divinity, the lens. And he snaps as the Liana, who's holding her action, goes ahead and casts a spell down towards the Champion of Ravens. You watch as suddenly all the mirrors on the side of the tunnel turn on at once, and these bright beams of energy shunt into him like hundreds of reflecting mirrors. He triggers something within the machine, and you watch as the Champion 
ah! screams out in pain and is compressed down into a sphere of dark shadow. He, he, he. Vax is pressed into just a sphere. Liliana lifts it up with her telekinesis and places it into the empty spot of the machine. It is time, my children. And right as you look up, you can see there's other sky ships beginning to appear. Different Vasselheim and other forces have begun to arrive just as the red moon glows above. <laughs> you watch as every rood is born in the chamber. Stands oh! tall, including Imogen, as red energy filters out into the center of the spire. Let us. Destroy what will unmake them. And you watch as this incredible thick beam of red energy fires up into the sky. It lights up and sends every cloud scattering out of visible sight up into the air, up towards the red moon of Ruidus. A thousand years. You couldn't stop me. You couldn't. Some of the machines kind of spark a bit. He's like. He looks a bit nervously. It's too late. It's too late! <laughs> the sky goes from pitch black to a deep red to a multicolor explosion of magical arcane energy into white. A familiar white. Bloodna, you kind of glance around. You see yourself kind of sitting on the edge of a rocky cliff almost. You are in an unfamiliar landscape. It seems terrestrial. You look to your left and you see Ashton kind of half draped over this outcropping. Ashton, where are we? Where is everybody? You glance kind of upward and you see about 10 feet up. Uh, slowly sitting upward, Orem. Do you have Pate with me? Pate isn't with you. We're okay, though. We're not hurt. We're not. No more than you were moments ago. In some distance, you see, just above the cloud line, the red moon Ruidus standing in a singular, solid red beam that just vanishes below some sort of far off mountain line. Are we even still on Marquette? FCG, kind of gain your bearings and you look around you and you kind of reach your arms in this kind of like crowded dust or a sand, but it's white. It's like like fine crystal, like a snow. No features? Is it dunes? It's just white dunes. And the sky above me? The sky above you is stars and the slightly rising sun. And I just look all, all 360 all around me. Any Anything in the distance? Any clouds? Any anything? No, it's a clear sky. No Katha, no Ruidus. In one direction, there is just like this, this endless snow-covered desert, it looks like. You see to the east of you this large snow-capped mountain range. To the south, you can almost see like this heavy snow-covered forest that seems to just spread out. And in kind of a northern direction, you see what looks to be an ocean. You also, with a high enough perception check, glance down and you see kind of slowly digging their way out of the snow, fern. Oh, but wait, she was Rudis born. Is she glowing? Is she is red dust coming off of her or anything? No, not that you can see. You begin to yell and shout out and Chetney. You hear them call out just as you're kind of figuring out your bearings and Imogen, as you kind of feel your vision return, begin to hear these shouts as well as you both begin to climb opposite sides of this dune to meet up with the other two. FCG and Fern. What? Where, where's Orem? Where's, I don't know. Where's Laudna? Where are we? No scent of your missing friends anywhere. But as you glance around the horizon, you know where you are. You're in the middle of the Crystal Sands Tundra. And from where you stand to the east, you see the Flakhet Mountains. 
where your hometown of Uthodurn resides. And that's where we're gonna finish tonight's episode. Oh! Yeah! Where are we? God. Where are we? Who the fuck knows? You split the party. Yeah. You guys are on the other side of the fucking planet. We are. Where's Uthodurn? Wait. We north, are. North, 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 who has Fuck. the oh sending my stone God. to Bo and Caleb? I will not. <laughs> actually. Where did we go, Ricard? <laughs> <laughs>